Brown. Present. Councilmember Dunn. Present. Councilmember Willis. Councilmember Gilliard. Councilmember Jackson. Present. Councilmember Flea. Mayor Pro Tem. Councilmember Baker. The Present. Mayor Bill Edwards is absent. Present also is the city manager, Odie O'Donnell. Odie Donald. City Attorney Lenny Felton. You have a quorum. And uh, just for the record, uh, Madam Clerk, I just like to say, you know, we normally don't have meetings during this time, and we have to cross through Union City, and that train is stopping a lot of people out from see Texas, so text messages, so everyone is on their way. Yeah, it's Park Yeah, Park too. Okay, uh, Madam Clerk, please call the uh, first item on the agenda. First item on the agenda is public hearing for an ordinance to establish the fiscal year 2019 millage rate for the city property tax for the city of South Fulton, Georgia. Good morning, Mayor Pro Tem and the City Council. Um, we are presenting the millage rate. This is our first day of the three millage rate presentation public hearings. The main aim of the public hearing is to have input of the uh, community to know that they are, we are funding 2020 budget through the millage rate that will be determined for, in order for us to levy enough money and our main revenue are coming from taxes. So the presentation will be this morning at this time, then we'll have another one at 6 o'clock this evening, the second one. And the final one, and adoption for the mirage rate will be on the uh, next week, Thursday, on the 8th at 6 o'clock. So tax rate. The amount of tax billed is based on the fair market value of the property using the mirage rate. Set annually, this is the requirement by state, is set annually by the governing body, in this case the mayor and the council which is the governing authority of taxing jurisdiction by a tax rate of, we have included the education because the times they have education that also is part of the mirage rate. The city may have, the board of education may also have the mirage rate adopted to support the uh, uh, running of the schools. In our case, we don't have that. That's the state requirement, which is one dollar per 1,000 of assessed value. Then we have the rollback rate. Rollback rate is the mirage rate that would raise the same amount of revenue as last year if applied to current value of the property that was on last year's tax roll. If nothing changed, if everything remained the same, we would have levied or raised the same money that we raised last year. However, that's not possible because there are several factors that it would constitute for not levying the same. Some of those are the assessment values, some we have exemptions. Uh, there are many factors that we have here. But if it was, everything would remain the same, would we have raised the same money. Uh, in our 2019, rollback rate is 10.859. 10.859. So it drops from 11.579 getting into 10.859. Current mirage rate for 2019 is 11.579. As you know, we have never changed it. From 2016, 17, 18, 19, up to now, it's the same. And we are proposing the same mirage rate of 11.579. We call it raise, it's going up because of the rollback, we are supposed to be at the rollback. However, if we have a rollback, we will see the reason why we are proposing the same of 11.579. So basic home state property, if we were to use on the left side is the rollback rate of 11 uh, 10.859, and on the right side is what we are proposing of it, the same one, 11.579. So much say a market value of home of uh, 100,000, we move the 40% and we get with um, assessed value which is $40,000. The $40,000 um, um, we remove the local exemption 
exemption is for everyone, that is the food on county, that is in the city of South Fulton, regardless of your age. You have a home, you have uh, uh, that exemption of 30,000. That means we may with 10,000. Out of that 10,000, we apply the 10.859. That means uh, we'll have a property tax of $108.59. If we apply the one that we are proposing, the same 11.579, you see we will raise about $115.79. So if we are to have the 1.108, that means it, uh, we will raise less money than what we are proposing. Tax Digest and five year history of levy. We are required to provide five years history. In our case, we don't have five years history. We start from 17, 18, and now we are in 19. Um, so you will see the real property in 17 was $1.9 billion. In 2018, $2.4 billion. And in 20, 19, currently where we are is $2.7 billion. It's going up. Personal, it was 11. And the, in the 2018, you see it's going down. It's the 900 and the, um, $908 million, 763, And in 2019, personal is going down. The major Contributing factor in that is the loss of properties that we had business property on food on industrial that at first were deemed to be part of South Fulton and they have gone to food on industrial district because it's a they made a mistake so they have reassessed it they found out that those ones do not belong to us that's the biggest drop and that is equivalent to over four million dollars that we have lost in this fiscal year. Then we have uh, our tax exemptions that uh, you see they have gone up. We had 919 in 2017, 669 in 2018, now we have 728. And then we have gross marriage rate uh, from 12, 20, 20. Then let's roll back. Four nine nine. Then we have uh, tax levy. I have uh, uh, highlighted here on the, in 2018. We build 33 million dollars, but it went down because of those adjustments that the tax office had to do before the bills were sent out. So from 33. We had 30,657,809, uh, and we are proposing this with the, the same rate of 11.579. We are going to have 30,742,730 to help us to support the 2020 budget. So here is say, should the city maintain the neutral rate without portion that was rolled back, which is 10.859, then it will need to reduce the level of services being proposed in 2020 because we will have less revenues. This is just a summary of our revenues that we have in 20, uh, these are actuals in 2018. Are proposed in 2019, and this is what we are looking for. If the marriage rate of 11.579 will be uh, adopted, so the 30 million plus other revenues, we are looking forward to have our 2020 general fund budget at 72 million dollars, and expenditures will be at 70 million dollars. Uh, we have some that see 1.2. $1 million that is to be included or to reduce our fund balance that is at $10 million. So if everything goes as planned, we we'll have to put in reserve $1.1 million. That will reduce our fund balance negative to $8.6 million. With that, I'll entertain any comments that may be there or questions with our public today. Presentation. Yeah, I mean, first, okay. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. 
this time we'll open the floor for public comment. And I don't think anybody did it, but they probably already read the proposal <laughs> for next year, the next budget year. Um, um, I think that uh, it needs to be stated that we have to have these meetings uh, by law. Uh, Mr. Malazi did say, I yes, think we have three of them. The requirement to have, have three is based on increase. Mm -hmm. As I stated, that the, there is literally no increase from 11.579 going up, but because of rollback, it's required that we have to have three meetings. So we will just be finishing this one. We'll have our next meeting 6 o'clock today evening. Then the last one will be next Thursday at 6 o'clock. Then we'll have meet the state requirements. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. So this time I entertain uh, comments or questions from the council or I entertain a motion to adjourn. I move that we adjourn. Second. I move that we adjourn. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Thank you.